YTBC, what's the deal? Now, a commenter, James Canlos, I hope I'm pronouncing that right. He left a comment on my uh, Nick the Terror Asbury Prospect Watch video. And he asked me, he says, check out Ray Edwards, former NFL player, 6'6", 270 pound muscular giant. Well, James, we live in a small, small world. First of all, thank you for that comment, man, watching the video and um, wanting to know my opinion. We live in a very small world, James. I actually seen Ray Edwards when he first started coming to the gym. This had to have been, shit, man, 2010, I know for sure. Had to been around April, May. It was right before, was it Mayweather versus Mosley? Had It was before that fight. It had to be around April. And he started coming to the gym. Uh, he played for the Minnesota Vikings at the time. And this gym is called Uppercut Gym. It's in Northeast Minneapolis. Um, probably the best facility as far as gym is probably the best facility in the state. Anyways, uh, you know, a lot of Vikings guys will come up there and, uh, you know, get workouts and do other things to stay in shape, you know, and a lot of athletes that like to pick uh, boxing. So Ray Edwards was up there and he was working with another trainer or with a trainer who was training uh, uh, undefeated heavyweight out of Minnesota right now named Aaron Green. I believe Aaron 16 and 0 with 14 knockouts. But at the time he was in his last uh, spring of amateur. But anyways, his his trainer was working with Ray Edwards, man. This was around the same time I started coming to the gym and I seen him hitting the mitts. Because, you know, when he, when he was in the gym, he was just a big-ass black dude in there. And uh, he was hitting the mitts. And uh, just looked real mechanical and slow and bulky. He was just learning. You know, he was just learning how to throw. Uh, you know, just walking him through the basics. You know, boxing is real bas basic when, you know, guys start out. So, he just looked real clunky. He looked real big and strong, but he just looked real slow. You know what I mean? Um, so... Fast forward from May of 2010 to, I believe, was it May of 2011? He took a pro fight. He took his first pro fight. I remember uh, seeing footage of that fight, the highlights on the news, actually, on the local news. Um, he fought another guy that was making his pro debut, and uh, it was pretty sloppy. You know, I believe that footage is on YouTube. It looked pretty sloppy. Um, he got the win. He knocked. Uh, the TJ Gibson guy down a few times, but it was real sloppy. Um, he won the decision. Um, I just remember it being on the news because a lot of Vikings were there, and this was during the uh, NFL lockout. It was right during that lockout, so this is what they were broadcasting, um, giving us Viking news. But yeah, he was, you know, so I remember that fight. So then I went on YouTube after you asked me about him. I laughed to myself at first, like, oh my goodness, <laughs> he knows who Ray Edwards is. But, uh, Ray Edwards is 10-0 with the one draw. He just got a draw. I tried to look that fight up. His last recent fight, he got a split draw. He got, got a draw um, to Grover Young. So I tried to look the fight up. It's not on YouTube. Um, Young, I'll try to look him up. He lost to Malik Scott by KO. He also lost, lost to Nick Asbury, who I just did a prospect watch video on. He lost to him. But he beat Daniel Martz. I'm like, damn, Daniel Martz, Daniel Martz. That's the dude that, you know, for you Joseph Parker fans, that was Joseph Parker's just last, his last fight. So Ray Edwards, man, what do I think of him? Um, you know, I'm not going to talk too bad about him because he's a guy that's, you know, giving boxing a chance, just trying to try it out. He was, you know, started just to stay in shape um, while the, you know, preseason, just trying to stay in shape, man. And, uh... He's trying to give it a shot, and you know he. But the fights that I'm seeing, I really don't see nothing there. You know, I watched the Corey Briggs fight; I don't see nothing there. Now he is a lot more calmer. He is a lot more relaxed in the ring from when I seen him uh, in the T.J. Gibson fight, or when I first saw him hitting hitting the mitts. He looks a lot better, but he carries his hands extremely low. I don't know how well he takes a punch. Um, there's a fight he fought a guy named San Goodman, and I only seen one round of the fight because that was only thing on YouTube of that fight and Goodman was landing some good jabs it was making uh Edwards head go back a little bit here and there you know but for the most part he's just he's so much bigger and stronger than the guys he's in there with and these guys he's in there with they're making their pro debuts or their own three or their you know one in eight I mean it's not like he's in there with Jason Gaffern or Joey Abel you know veterans that probably won't win but they're going to give you some different looks they've been in there they have some success in some fights you know but and then the, there's there's a fight. I'm gonna leave this in the description. He fought a dude. I think that I tried to match up when the video was uh, dropped on YouTube and tried to line up his resume on Boxrec to see if this was the same guy. 
because in the video it doesn't even say the guy's name. It just says Ray, it just say uh, Ray Edwards Phantom Punch KO. I believe the guy's name is Nick Capes. And if this is and if that guy was Nick Capes, he needs to immediately, if he hasn't already, get to get his boxing license revoked. I mean, he should, he should just get it took right now. I'm gonna leave this fight, you know, in the descriptions so you can see. It. I'm gonna leave a link to it. Oh my goodness, you talk about a phantom punch. This is the most comical shit I've ever seen. <laughs> This is one of the most comical things I've seen. Now, again, in a lot of these, you know, fights with prospects coming up, they're getting in there with guys that don't want to be in there, man. There's guys in there that literally are there for just the check. I mean, these guys aren't even showing up in shape, man. He fought another guy. I believe it was the Corey Briggs dude. The dude started getting hit with body shots, man, and pretty much cowered away from the shots and put up a guard. I mean, it looked like he was picking on the dude. I mean, it literally looked like Ray Edwards was going in there picking on this dude, man. And so... I really can't rate anything from these from these type of fights, man. I gotta see him see him in there with somebody. It doesn't have to be a world beater, obviously, but just, I mean, Manuel Quezada, somebody, man, give us somebody, Curtis Harper, something. I need to see something. I need somebody to hit him back to see how he reacts. Um, you know, does he just you know bite down on his mouthpiece and just keep coming like oh that's nothing, or does he get hit and he falls over? But he's very big, he's very strong, he's only 30 years old now, you know, he did take a professional fight one year after uh, he initially started training, so I give him major props for that. But at the same time, he's literally has been in there with nobody of note, you know, so 10-0, you know, but um, I really don't see much there. He could prove me wrong, you know, a lot of people probably told him he wasn't going to make it to the NFL, you know, and he proved them wrong, but... Just my opinion, just one uploader, man. But uh, those are my thoughts on Ray Edwards. YTVC, I'm out.